This is Joshua Hart here for seconds out. Delighted today to be joined by Sam Jones here at the final press conference Take for Josh two. Taylor. Take two Take indeed. Two Sam. Sam, how are we doing first of all? Yeah, good mate, really good. Looking forward to getting this done, uh, weighing tomorrow and then the big nights on Saturday. Obviously it's a massive fight week, it's the biggest fight, almost it's probably the second biggest fight of Jack's career. Biggest fight would have been the first fight with Taylor, um, but it almost feels like there's much more on the line this time yeah, when you're here. Listen, of course, with the undisputed belts, it's always going to be a big, but size of the fight is bigger this time, so I think it's the biggest fight of Jack's career. And when we look at it as well, you know, this time they've not had to take it to Edinburgh to sell. We're here in Leeds, it's pretty much sold out, I think there's a minimal sold, amount of tickets. Sold out, sold out completely. Um, it just shows how big this fight really is. It's appealing just to the casual boxing fans yeah. now. Yeah, look, listen, we had it was sold out within an hour and then the dates got moved it's a bank holiday like which did it doesn't help it doesn't help when the people book hotels and they have to rebook hotels they lose money um but we're very lucky that all the it's all carried over and the fight's back on and we're here now so that's the main thing and for yourself just how big is this for yourself so it's probably one of the biggest fights you've probably been involved in as a manager isn't it yeah it is it's um i've been involved in a lot of big nights but for, probably personally for me it's the biggest one yeah and looking at, I guess you say, the mentality that Jack's got to be in, there's a, obviously we know that tensions are high, there's a lot of bad blood between them. Is it about just keeping a cool head come fight night? Jack is the coolest, coolest guy you can, you can imagine in these situations. Honestly, he, he, the, the way he takes everything in his stride is unbelievable. So he's ready to go. He's really ready to go. I'm sure he's had a great camp out there, out in Tenerife. Saw the raw footage out there when the fight got delayed, um, you know. Jamie comes over and says, "What's the damage?" You have to say the fight. So you can see the, you can just see how good everyone was. Yeah, it was. Listen, it was a, it was a sore one. It was a sore one. But because the cameras were there filming that the, that the, the documentary kind of thing, they caught it all and they caught it as it was happening. So you're always going to say things and like, like and, and feel feel a certain way uh, for that in that moment. But after after an hour, we got everyone. Everyone was fine. They thought, "Listen, it's four weeks. Get back on it." Straight away, I'll see. In the heat of the moment, does anyone's head just go straight to thinking, that's it, we're not fighting now, we're just going to move no, on? No, no, definitely not. It, the first reaction is like, oh, no, it's, it's, uh, this, is, this is not the best, it's not, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. We, we, Jack's, Jack's such a professional, so the way he's dealt with it is fantastic, and I expect him to look brilliant on Saturday. And what, if I was to ask you for a prediction, I don't know what you're going to say, but how does Jack, Jack beat win? Him? Just Jack, uh, Jack catch a win. I, I usually, I, I, would, I would love to say, oh, he's going to stop him, but... I think Jack Catchwell is going to conclusively beat Josh Taylor on Saturday. And just turning back to last weekend, we saw the undisputed heavyweight fight. I remember speaking to you briefly about it after the Keno fight. Um, first of all, what did you make of the fight as well? It was a very, it, it almost surprised how good the fight actually was. I actually thought it wasn't going to be like that. I thought it was going to be a chess match for 12 rounds um, uh, with Fury getting to him late. Couldn't have got it any more wrong, to be honest with you. Um, but I got the Cordina one drastically wrong as well. I think the only thing I got correct on that night was the the times the ring walks were going to be uh, yeah that was the only thing I got correct about that night but it was a great advert for the sport last week it was a brilliant brilliant fight between the two best heavyweights in the world in my opinion and we're going to see it again and that's the say the Saudi effect they've come in and they've changed the game I was going to say when you mentioned it being a good advert I've brought some of my mates around on the fight night who've never really watched boxing before and I said to them I don't expect an awful lot this could be a very much of a chess match and then you've got there, you know, you see Fury stumbling all over the ropes. And they were like, listen, I see why you look the sport now. It was unbelievable. The, the whole thing was unbelievable. I wanted Tyson to win, um, but it didn't go his way. I, I didn't see the fight as a, a wide fight at all. I thought it was a very close fight that Usyk won by a round maximum two. And the right man won the fight. Would you say it was that, it was that moment where Fury got stumbled, which is where the fight just, it, the momentum just swung right the other way? But a lot of people see a fight like that and see that round and go, oh, Usyk's batted him. You know what I mean? They'll think, no, it's one-sided. It wasn't one-sided. It was just, it was, yeah, exactly, exactly that. I thought Tyson was winning the fight on, on cruise control at times. But then Usyk took over the fight and won the fight. He really did. And uh, you can only credit him. Genius of a boxer. Some people, I think the likes of Derek Chazor and David Hay, they were saying that the, ref, the ref's count was too long, saying that they'd allowed no, Tyson. It, it, possibly, possibly. But on another day, Tyson Fury could have been stopped. Um, but he wasn't, and it was allowed to continue, and we got a great end to the fight. It was a fantastic fight, but again, the right man won the fight. And sometimes in boxing, this is the reason why we're here with this fight, because the, 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 the right man didn't win the fight. Controversy. No controversy in that fight. It was a very tight, tight fight, and the right man got the nod. And that's what we want to see in boxing. If you lose, 
you lose. If you win, let's see the right, let's see the winner actually get the decision. I think one we forget, uh, one thing that we forget about the referees is they're, they're not the ones actually doing the count. It's the it's the timekeeper at the side of the ropes doing the count, isn't it? Yeah, it it, it is, it is. But um, I thought the ref did a pretty good job overall but like what I say it's always going to be controversial because Tyson didn't hit the deck the referee kind of stood in and gave him a count but like I say the right man won the fight Turning the attention yesterday after the public workout we got the announcement Derek Chisora versus Joe Joyce at the O2 Arena one of your fighters Adam Hamed on the undercard making his Queensbury debut Uh, before we talk about the main event of that evening just talk us about Adam Hamed getting him out getting him a fight date and just excited to see the journey progress yeah look Adam's in the gym with Jamie and Nigel working hard he's he's got a lot of um, he's got a lot of kids around his way Cameron Jack great sparring great learning for Adam Hamed and he's going to come on heaps and bounds it's a brilliant platform for him it's going to be a big night at the O2 Arena good heavyweight fight and uh, yeah look look excuse me looking forward to be there and will this be the start of a very active second half yeah, 2024 I, I believe so I think Adam we're trying to get him at house at least three times this year at least three times and um, yeah activity that's what a young fighter needs and looking at the main event Joe Joyce Derek Chisora it's a fight that I think can appeal to British boxing yeah. fans I, I wish it would have happened years ago yeah. when Joe originally wanted the fight um, I, I, do you know what it is right Joe, I love to pieces. Derek, I think a lot of as well. Legend of British boxing. I just want them both to come out of that fight healthy, genuinely. That's all I care about. That's all I, I was saying care about that fight. I just want them both to come out, have a good fight, um, may the best man win, and they come out healthy. As in, Derek has made it no secret that he only wants to have three more fights. He went out and said he wants to have London this one, Manchester, and then no end up in Zimbabwe. Tell Derek what to do. Like people can say, oh, he should retire. He should retire. But ultimately, no one's going to tell Derek Chisora what to do. He's going to do what he wants to do. But I just like what I say. I just hope, because he's made a lot of money, Derek. I, I want him to, as I say, come out of the sport healthy. And looking at this fight necessarily for Joyce, what is, there's obviously there's still stuff to gain from it, but when the, you look at other opponents available, while there's ones that probably won't sell as many tickets as Chisora will, there's probably ones that could do better for him in ranking-wise, isn't you've there? You've just said it yourself. Okay, fair enough. You've just said the reason yourself, and you've got it bang on. The fight's a commercially bigger fight. I mean, I've heard there was talks with the Bacoli fight, but unfortunately for Martin Bacoli, and as much as, listen, we can give Billy Nelson some some stick, he's, he's struggling because Martin Bacoli is in the ultimate who needs him club, sadly. And I mean that. Like, I don't wish... Uh, Martin is a great fighter, but the fact is, fighting Derek Chisora is probably not as difficult. It's b- b- bigger financially, and it sells more tickets. So from Joe's standpoint, better fight for Joe. For Queensbury standpoint, bigger commercially, so you get more bums in the seats. And um, they're both kind of a similar age. So it's a, it's a, it's a good fight. So I'm finally, I just want you to, I'll give you, you 30, well no, no, I'll give you 30, you kept me <laughs> I'll give you 30 seconds, I want you just to sell Saturday night as best as possible. I don't need to sell Saturday night, we, we, we already did it when we when we first uh, did, did the opening press conferences, they don't like each other, Josh is a Scottish, a Scottish boxing, le- British boxing legend, Scott, uh, Josh Taylor, for me, for me, the best Scottish fighter ever, um, Jack Catchell is the most under, still one of the most underappreciated fighters, and Saturday night he's going to get his flowers. Sam, we'll leave it there. Thank Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mike.